like to build some of the structures like these? Well, you can. It's easy. First, though, let's cover a few things about Quadrilla. We'll take you through typical Quadrilla pieces available in sets or as accessories, and provide some building tips to help get you started with your own design process. We think of Quadrilla as intelligent play with wood because it unites play, wood, and the challenge of construction. Quadrilla was developed by studying marble runs from all over the world. By improving them, children can find their own starting point and build. Quadrilla is an innovative set of tracks and connecting blocks that allows you to make your own marble run. Each of the sets includes tracks of varying lengths, a series of rainbow colored blocks, and a supply of colored marbles and accelerators. The tracks and blocks are designed to offer unlimited design opportunities to children ages four and up who love to build from the very simplest structures through all shapes and sizes to the most complex. The tracks come in a variety of lengths and have a different number of holes at the ends and in the middle for the marbles to drop through. Some holes have a plastic sleeve. These are used to connect to other tracks and blocks. The holes can be covered up with a plug if you want a marble to travel across the hole or if you need to use an accelerator. Some tracks have more guides than others. You will use these to help your marble stay on track in the direction you plan it to travel. There are two types of accelerators, one that sits on top of the track and the other that plugs the hole and serves as a launch for the marble when it comes out of the block. Before we get started, it's best to put two of the natural colored bases on the bottom of the first level blocks. This will create a stable base from which to build. It's important to start this way each time you build a new structure. The blocks come in a variety of colors signifying the different paths a marble will take when used on the tracks. The red block with a beige dot has a toggle in the center which forces the first marble in one direction and the opposite direction for the next marble. Another red block has the same toggle but allows the marble to exit on two adjacent sides. This would be used when two tracks meet on a corner. The orange block allows the marble to drop straight through from top to bottom. The teal and green blocks each serve two functions. A marble can roll through near the base of the block and also drop through an exit on a different side. The natural colored block allows a marble to roll straight through. With the yellow block, a marble drops from the top and out the side. The blue block allows a marble to roll in on one side and out through the bottom, or from the top and out on either side. The black block has a large tunnel opening and also allows a marble to drop straight through from top to bottom. Finally, a slim but important block is the purple plate in your kit. This plate is used to keep the tracks level. This is important in the building process. Notice the purple blocks added to the column on the right to make it level. An easy way to figure out how many blocks you need is by comparing how many rails have already been used in each column and then adding that difference in purple blocks to the shorter column. You may think that the track needs to be sloped in order for the marble to travel. The marble actually gets its speed and energy when it drops from one level track to another. It operates on kinetic, not gravitational, energy. So, if you are interested in increasing your speed, simply add another level, or an accelerator, or both. Another essential piece is the two-hole plate. It can be used to add stability. The plate is placed on the top of a track to secure a nearby block. Stability and flexibility are important features of Quadrilla. Not only can designs be built and rebuilt, but this can be done on most surfaces. Tables and floors provide an especially smooth surface and may even allow the structure to be moved without dismantling it. Sean can move his entire structure to a more appropriate spot by carefully sliding the bottom blocks across this wood floor. He's also used the cloth bag included in this set to capture the marbles when they race out of the last block. A dish or bowl is another way to keep the marbles from scattering across the floor.